Hey guys, Unfair here. Welcome to a new Cutting Room Floor series. This time we're going to be playing through Deus Ex Invisible War. If you're not familiar with the Deus Ex series, there are three games in it so far. Human Revolution, which is actually the newest game in the series, but chronologically it's the first one. Then Deus Ex, and finally Invisible War. If you aren't familiar with the original Deus Ex, you may want to watch that series first. It'll definitely make this one more interesting, there are a lot of references back and forth. I know a lot of people hate on this game, and it definitely isn't as good as the original, but it still has a fairly solid story. It's mostly the game engine itself, and some of the gameplay mechanics that are kind of annoying. If you want to see let's plays of either of the other ones, they're already on my channel. This is the last one I need to finish up the series. One last thing I want to point out before we get started. I'm playing a highly modified version of the game. It doesn't support high resolutions at all, and back when it came out, monitors were square, so it doesn't even support widescreen by default. The interface is also completely annoying. I dug through the configuration files and did a custom modification, but here's what it would have looked like by default. I've also installed high resolution texture packs, so hopefully that'll make things look a little less dated. So with all that said, let's get started. These cutscenes are going to look a little bit rough, but the game itself should look fine. They're really low resolution in comparison. Fusion lab? Evacuated. Trainees? Gave the order myself. What did you tell them? I told them to run. That's all they need to hear until we reach Seattle. Agreed. Anything new on the terrorist? He's in the city. No ID yet. Unclear whether we're the target. An academic distinction if he really has a nanite detonator. Scanning. The security bots have acquired the target. We're too late! Helipad, let's go. Move! We have other options. We aren't equipped to fight a war. We're going to change the terms of engagement. It's our war, not theirs. We don't need cities or armies. We have the cells of human bodies. An invisible weapon for an invisible war. So apparently that was like a nanite atomic bomb. Looks like just a massive cloud of miniature machines turning everything into dust. Now Invisible War is kind of unique. It's the only Deus Ex game where you can actually play a female character. As you can see, we have three choices for male and female. Both sides are fully voice acted, and I'm actually going to go with male characters specifically because I think the male voice acting is far better. I'll show you a comparison when we get a little bit further in the game. And the ever-present basketball. That's a staple of Deus Ex games. And this is our data vault. I won't be referring to this too often except to look at our goals. I know where pretty much everything we need in this game is. Welcome, 
Alex, I see that you're awake. Just trying to sleep off the chopper ride. What happened? The guards practically dragged me to the roof. Let me introduce myself. Leila Nassif, director of the Tarsus Academy here in Seattle. I've been moved to Seattle. What about Billy? Is she here too? Alex, I'm afraid something happened in Chicago. A terrorist attack. We evacuated you and Billy just in time. No one told me anything about an attack. How bad is it? I have friends in Chicago. You don't want all the details in one dose, trust me. Why don't you come downstairs to meet the other trainees? Refer to the map you found of the facility. Billy Adams you know from Chicago. Check in with her in apartment 454 on your way down. What was that noise? Nothing to be concerned about. You have your assignment, Alex. And we also have our inventory. There's two different sections. This is our hotkey area, and this part is just like our bag inventory. Normally the hotkey area would actually be visible on screen at all times, as I showed you on the screenshot earlier. But because I modified the game, you don't have to deal with that annoyance. It also stacks the food. I don't know if this is a bug or not, but instead of getting different things like soy food, it just starts giving us more candy bars for some reason. I'm totally okay with it conserving my slot space, though. Attention trainees. Self-study will last only until the top of the hour. So basically the collapse did happen in the previous game. And Seattle, which is where we're at right now, is split up into two different parts. Upper and lower Seattle. Basically upper class and lower class. You looking for me, huh? You looking for Leo Jankowski? I'm probably in the rec area working out or already on a plane for Horde RCP Special Security Division. And I bet you wish it was you. Until our security Leo assessment changes, Tarsus will be operating as a closed campus. God. Please remain in the main complex. What happened? Mike and I, we've, we've worked here for years. Usually nothing makes it past the turrets. Do you know what's going on? Dr. Nassif acted like nothing's wrong. I, I'm sure SSC will be sending help any minute now. You might have noticed that we also have a beard and scars. That's just a custom skin. I thought the clean shave and high res ones look kind of goofy. Finally, it's about time you woke up. Come on in. We've got to talk about what's been going on around here. I take it you heard the disturbance. Any idea what's going on around here? This Dr. Nassif is telling me to ignore what sounded like an explosion, and I just saw a man killed in the hallway. I tried to get answers out of Dr. Nassif, but all she'd give me is the elevator code. It's 28901 if you need it. I don't know what's going on, but it's clear we're not safe. We don't know anyone here, so we'd better watch each other's back. Thanks. I guess I should meet our hostess here already. Not much else I can do, and maybe I can get some better answers in person. You coming? No, not yet. I've got things to do. Now here's that exact same conversation as a female. Yeah, it's me, Alex. Finally, it's about time you woke up. Come on in. We've got to talk about what's been going on around here. Oh God! I take it you heard the disturbance. Any idea what's going on around here? This Dr. Nassif is telling me to ignore what sounded like an explosion, and I just saw a man killed in the hallway. Attention I tried to get answers out of Dr. Nassif, but all she'd give me is the elevator hour. code. It's 28901 if you need it. I don't know what's going on, but it's clear we're not safe. We don't know anyone here, so we'd better watch each other's back. Thanks. I guess I should meet our hostess here already. Not much else I can do, and maybe I can get some better answers in person. You coming? No, not yet. I've got things to do. So like I said, my opinion, not nearly as good. Until our security assessment changes, Let's raid her fridge real quick before we go. I can always use a little bit extra food. This part of the game is pretty linear, but it'll open up pretty quick. I usually skip tutorial sections, but this one has quite a bit of story. Greetings. Attention trainees, self-study will last only until the top of the hour. What's going on? I saw one of your troopers killed. All part of SSC duties. I can't comment except to say the situation will be under control shortly. What do you mean no comment? I saw a man die. Move along. I know you have your orders and I have mine. Now let me do my job. I've got just as much training as you do, if not more. Why don't you let me help out? Why don't you keep your mouth shut and just stay out of SSC's way? Okay, whatever. Jackass. And as you can see, we don't need to remember or type in any of the codes we're given. Doors just automatically unlock when we have the right code. I know what you must be thinking. Don't worry, this won't be a repeat of Chicago. The facility's under attack. By who? 
No one. Just an isolated incident. Listen, we want the trainees to stay in the wreck area. You'll be safe down here. Doctor! Doctor! We have a code yellow. Uh, hello, Stan. Are you sure? One of the guards turned up dead. I'll be right there. You'd better introduce yourself to the others. Clara's just down the hall and Leo's running laps around the track. What's going on? I have a right to know if I'm in danger. You'll be safe in the wreck area. Go, Alex. I don't have time to debrief every one of the trainees. Leo is the goofball whose intercom we accessed a few minutes ago. Hi. What's going on? It looks like this facility is under attack. Probably just more demolition. That's Upper Seattle, you know, always growing. We hear it all the time. Hey, you must be overwhelmed. I mean, Chicago, the whole city. Was your family from there? My foster parents. Your parents? Oh, that's terrible. I'm so sorry. If I can do anything to make you feel more at home, let me know. She's a massive overachiever. Gets a little bit annoying later. I'm not kidding about an attack. I saw a guard die in an explosion. Really? I haven't heard any shooting. Are you sure it wasn't an accident? No, but the man who interrupted Dr. Nassif mentioned a code yellow emergency. Does this sort of thing happen a lot? Ask Dr. Nassif. I'm just a trainee. They moved me here a couple weeks ago. After the attack on Chicago, aren't you a little nervous? Why so many transfers? Actually, Leo and I requested to be sent here because this is where you finish training and get briefed on your first assignment. Isn't it exciting? I wonder what company I'll be working for. So you've been here two weeks. Any advice? Just do your best and I'm sure you'll get a good rating. We have drills in the morning, exercise and self-study in the afternoons. Oh, and you'll be getting a suite of biomods. They give you the infusions during the first week. Sounds as though you like it here. Oh, sure. In the evening, we're usually free to move about the city. This building is at the edge of Upper Seattle. You'll be amazed at what a nice enclave the WTO has built. Yeah? Actually, I feel a little guilty when I think about all the people still living in post-collapse shanties. My family's from Lower Seattle. Billy and I are from Old Chicago. We had sector passes to go to the Tarsus School in the New Chicago Enclave. Guess all that's gone now. Billy and I, we always planned to send money home once we got assigned. So biomods are basically the equivalent of nano augmentation. Alex, I just talked to Dr. Nassif. Know anything about a code yellow emergency? A security guard has been murdered. Would I be running if there was an emergency? Me? You never heard the name Leo Jankowski in Chicago? Uh, sorry. I'm the one with the perfect special ops rating. They didn't tell you this? Why would they keep it a secret? Ever heard the name Alex D? They told me the same thing. What? Really? Just kidding. Listen, I'm serious. You didn't hear the explosions? I saw a guard killed right in front of me on the apartment level. Probably staged. A test for the new transfers. They rewrote the exercises because of my performance. If there was trouble, they'd notify me immediately. The guard was dead. I'm sure of it. Better look again. They did the same thing to me during Summer Recon. I got a perfect score because I kept my cool. Sounds like you're in this for the adventure. Why'd you sign up? Money? My foster parents enrolled me at a Tarsus Middle School. I never thought about it much. An orphan? You were pretty pampered for an orphan. Why not be a banker or something? I grew up in old Chicago, not some cozy enclave. My parents made it clear I was gonna have to make it on my own. When I got picked for the covert ops program, I figured what the hell. What the hell? What kind of assignment do you expect with that attitude? A risky one, with a big salary. Let me finish my run. Alright, you have fun with that. Facility is under attack. Alex, please get the med kit and the multi-tools from your equipment. Just a precaution. Transmitting the software. a seeker coming our way. Look, there's no reason for me to drag a trainee into a firefight. Why don't you try to slip out before I start shooting? Sounds like a good way to become a target. Not if you're careful. Just stick to the shadows, crouch, and move slowly. You'll come through just fine. Don't be ridiculous. We can handle one order seeker. Those are pretty big words for a rookie. Go ahead, you first. I'll bring up the rear. 
So as you can see, our guns have unified ammo. The bar on the bottom left is how much ammo we have left, and the boxes next to it are how many clips of ammo we have for that particular type of gun. If we switch to a different gun, you'll see the number of clips change. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Intruders are storming the facility. Evacuate immediately. Warning. Now, as you can see, when we pick up guns, we actually don't get ammo for them. They give you individual guns. And the reason they do that is because you can attach different mods to different guns. Autonomous security systems have been compromised. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Billy, what are you doing? We all got the same orders. Get out of the facility through Nassif's office. Forget that. How do you know they won't just cut us loose, given all this trouble at their facilities? Warning. Grab what you can now. Get your bio mods installed. Tarsus owes us that much. I got mine, and they're worth the trouble. How? The facility's being locked down and this evacuated. Go back to your apartment. You'll be able to get to the biomod lab through a Intruders breach the order made in the facility. residential area. Wait, do you know what's going on? The order contacted me in Chicago and told me how to uncover Tarsus's treachery. Warning. We're not Autonomous trainees, we're test subjects. Finding out I've been used like that, I don't feel so bad about disobeying orders. But where does the order fit into all this? this I thought they were a world church, this not private not investigators. I need to know more before I start making decisions. The Order believes in natural balance, and they see Tarsus's operations as a violation of that. It's impossible to live a balanced life if your actions are secretly manipulated by a lab with its own agenda. Now you have a chance to see the real Tarsus. Explore the facility, starting with your apartment. This is not a drip. I repeat, this is not a drip. That makes sense. Remember, Alex D was actually the name of one of the clones in Area 51. Basically a newer model of the Dentons. Avoid confrontations in the hall. You could crawl through a vent shaft I found earlier. It connects Clara's and Leo's apartments. Enter the apartment on your immediate left to get to it. Hey, I never thought I'd see people die. Our seekers are secure in the building on the foot. There's a seeker down there. Guess I gotta take him down. Sounds like a plan to me. Cover me when I charge him? I mean, I can handle it by myself. It's just that in training, we always had backup. Sure, I've got your back. All right, let's go. We are here to rescue you from an inhumane scientific experiment. Hear us. You have been brainwashed. Reject Tarsus and the tyrants who established it. What's that? Let's, let's take out the got. Seeker first. He's pretty easy. Hey. Order be Thanks praised. a million. May go tell Boy was watch over and guide you. And we'll just run in here and grab some loot real quick. and how they position you within the company. Please keep in mind how important security has become. We are looking for assurances that moving you into these new positions is the right thing at this time. You have been brainwashed. Reject Tarsus and the tyrants who established it. Order be praised. May her holiness watch I'll watch the ceiling while I cut the power. That's one of the subjects. The sound Not just the sound barrier. See it. What do you think you'll do? Which one is it? D03. I didn't get a chance to read the file. Maybe we should leave. Not with the security grid malfunctioning. Facility. We're fine right here. Let's hope he has a sense of humor. Don't worry, I'm not gonna kill you. Wouldn't want to waste the ammo. for a seminar on my biomod architecture. The TARSIS program may be unconventional, but trust me, we take care of our trainees. 
The people attacking Tarsus, are they the ones responsible for Chicago? What's going on? The Order is an intolerant cult. They hate multinational corporations and the private security forces that protect them. Which means me. Exactly. But I don't think they were involved with Chicago. They're a worldwide organization, not a band of terrorists. Doesn't look that way to me. Many organizations would like to see us fail. That's perhaps all I should say for now. Why should I trust someone who spies on me in my own apartment? We keep our operations secret for a reason, Alex. Don't expect a full debriefing while you're still in danger of being captured. Now install your biomods and get out of there. Programmed your security systems to neutralize... It's not really your apartment anyway. It's their apartment they're letting you use. So there's actually two different types of biomod canisters. That's the first type. And there's actually a black market version that gives you different upgrades. These data cubes just give us a list of all the different biomods. We are here to rescue you from an inhumane scientific experiment. Hear us, you have been brain- We don't really need them though, because we can look at them on here. When we click the install button, it shows us all three options for whatever slot we're looking at. And I'm going to go ahead and install the regeneration. That's one of the better non-black market ones. I also want arm strength. And I'm going to upgrade that one to level 2. Each of these only has three levels. our security and that turret up there means business so we're trapped because the orders out there taking down scientists there's got to be some way to outsmart a camera if you can sneak past the camera or take it out with EMP you'll be fine as soon as that camera catches sight of a target the turret opens fire sounds easy enough do you want to follow me through I'm not willing to take that risk but you guys are trained for that sort of thing I'm just supposed to be quietly observing students and taking notes from behind the glass Hopefully backup will show up soon and rescue me, but you don't have that luxury. You cannot let yourself be captured. Okay, have it your way. We are here to rescue you from an inhuman Trust me, Tarsus has a strict policy. It gets voyeuristic behavior by our researchers. Your living quarters were observed only to ensure that our graduates show no behavioral abnormalities after the biomod infusion procedure. Order be praised. And these cameras are very similar to Deus Ex. So as far as biomods, I'm actually going to install mostly passive ones. Regeneration is the only active one I want. You must be the captain who goes down with the ship. In a manner of speaking, we won't hand our research over to fanatics. Not without a fight. Something's happening. Another squad of terrorists. Where? Right below us. They're going through the apartments. You sure you're going to stay and fight? If our enemies capture this facility, they'll learn how you were made. Stand by us, Alex. You're the one with combat training. Maybe you could handle the intruders before they reach my companion and me. Is this entire facility for studying us, the trainees? Was I under the microscope in Chicago, too? Biomodification is more involved than you might imagine, Alex. This facility was for your protection. You know my name. I better know a lot more than that if my code is going to be regulating protein synthesis in the cells of your body. I guess they got that girl downstairs. Should have followed me up here. You are now. Whoa. Apparently that mini cannon can shoot there. Those guys don't give us any more ammo. Just their guns, which we don't need. It's not safe! We're in danger! Not anymore, chill out. And this data cube just emphasizes that the collapse actually did happen. 
Remember, the previous game had three different endings, and I said that this game is kind of a mixture of all three. The collapse being one of those three. Two minutes later, those guys finally calmed down. Thanks. I think I'll hide. Well done, Alex D. I just read in your file that of all the trainees, Dr. Nassif picks you as the most likely to support our objectives. She appears to have been right. What do I find out what this program is all about? When we have you safe inside another Tarsus facility, we can no longer protect ourselves in North America. So the research is happening all over the world? First, let's get you out of here. I can't offer you much, but I was just repairing this silencer for Leo. Maybe you could make use of it. Thanks. That should fit most firearms. Good luck. Be careful of our turrets and alarms. The terrorists have reprogrammed them. So that's why that turret was shooting at us before. It's red beams that trip alarms, and green ones that trigger gas bombs. And that's just talking about the illegal biomods, which are what is inside here. And we need to use one of our multi-tools to get in there and get it. Now I'm going to use Black Market on two different slots. The first one is for hacking computers. And this should help us in the next room. Because of our strength mod, we can actually pick this up. I don't know if I glossed over it, but one of those scientists told us that the yellow lasers actually fry you. That eh, doesn't look like it's worth hacking. See if we can take these guys out relatively silently. Threat identified. Whoa, that camera somehow saw us. These guys aren't too much of a problem. I just wanted to release that spider bot. I just wanted to finish the hack because it takes exactly the same amount of time to hack back into it the second time. It seems like a lot longer process than the original game. Order demand your Apparently those guys are good at killing spider bots. What is this guy doing? The colored light is holographic in nature, just a way to intimidate intruders. The laser beams themselves are invisible. I was on my way out when they hacked the security. I'm gonna have an awful lot of guns to drop later. I always pick them all up just by habit. Thinking I'm gonna get more ammo out of it like other games. The order is with you. Go, you're free. Who are you? I'm Lin Min Chen, High Elder to Her Holiness. We can't protect you in Upper Seattle. You will have to come to our church, then we can talk more. Protect me from who? Dr. Nassif, she will try to recapture you. No one forced me into the covert ops program. That's because you never tried to leave. 
Believe me, you would have been killed the second you let down those scientists. The ones posted around your bedroom back there. The only killers I've seen so far are your order troopers. I apologize. My overzealous captain disobeyed orders. He was instructed to mount a rescue. You can't control your own people? The church suffers from certain internal disputes. I can explain more later. Hurry, Alex. You'll find us in the old Hartford Turbine Factory in Lower Seattle. Yeah, let's get rid of some of these guns. We only really need two of them. One normal one, and one with a special mod for vaporizing glass later. Let's you break into buildings silently. Sir, that's close enough. Do not approach the checkpoint. What's going on? Why am I the one being questioned? I just escaped from a raid on Tarsus. Let the WTO handle this disturbance. Just answer my questions. Who do you work for? All non-enclave workers must leave the area until security can be restored. That's one of them. Are you sure? Positive. Okay, you can pass, but you're instructed to report immediately to Chief Morgan at the WTO air terminal. Is something wrong? Just move along so we can seal off the area. You'll be safe in the WTO enclave. Whatever you do, don't go down the inclinator into Lower Seattle. The Order terrorists are strong there. And I'm going to end the video here. This is kind of the end of the tutorial section. And from here on out, we'll see a lot more exploring and side quests. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.